What's going on everybody? It's just another day in the kitchen back with another episode and in today's video we're throwing it back eight years to take a look at one of Travis Scott's first collaborations, his now very limited and exclusive Bape collab. Yep, that's right. La Flame had his own Bape collab a whole eight years ago. Now this actually came out, of course, before Utopia, before Birds, before Astro, and if you'll believe it, even before Travis Scott's debut rodeo album. Yup, that's right, La Flame was so connected that he actually had his very own Babe collab before he even dropped rodeo. Now in this video, we're going to be taking a look at some exclusive footage and some pictures from this collaboration, and kind of talking about what led to this moment and why it's pretty historic. So before we go any further, you might as well go ahead and drop a like and subscribe and join our free Discord so you can stay connected with the latest and greatest for the kitchen. Now like I said, this video takes us back 8 years to 2015 and man things were different. Music was hitting different, things were a lot cheaper, and Travis Scott hadn't quite yet blown up. But the reason that he landed this very exclusive collaboration is because the Bape New York store was celebrating its 10th year anniversary. They decided to collaborate with 10 artists, influencers, and just overall famous people, and of course, La Flame over here was one of them. They put together this cool promo video that I wanted to feature just so you can get an idea. Now again, I want you to remember that this is before Travis Scott had any huge breakout hits, so the fact that he was able to pretty much land this very exclusive collaboration with Bape is actually insane. And although Bape might not be as hype of a brand as it was back then, this was definitely a big deal for La Flame, and as somebody who grew up wearing Bape myself, I can only imagine how lit it was for him. Now, to commemorate this special anniversary, they actually had Travis perform at this event, and shout out to Virgil Abloh posted up behind him here. I wanted to feature these clips from the event to show you that La Flame was definitely lit even a whole eight years ago before he blew up. So check it out. Let's go! Jump! 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 So as you can see, La Flame was definitely a rager, and you can see that he's consistently had the same kind of energy when it comes to performing. Even though he might have been lit and it was a small club appearance, I think it's sick to see that he still had energy and cares about his performances. Now in doing my research for this video, I did come across this blog post from 8 years ago that detailed everything about the actual 10th anniversary. I think it's crazy to think about how much has changed in streetwear since then because back then, brands like Supreme were definitely at the forefront of the brand and I'd say Bape was a healthy second place. And I'd say even more ironic is the fact that I'm pretty sure this Bape store actually changed hands in 2021 with the new owner being Eric Emanuel who was also a very successful streetwear business owner if you guys are familiar with his very successful and now iconic Eric Emanuel shorts that I'll go ahead and include right here. Which, if you're not too familiar, looks like this. They feature the branded Eric Emanuel logo there, and they can be pretty pricey. Now, as far as the rest of this 10th year anniversary collection, it only makes sense then that Bape decided to collaborate with 10 different artists. I think it's actually cool that they decided to do something like that to hopefully showcase the different styles that each one had to bring to the table. And although this is for the 10th year New York store celebration, there are some New York artists sprinkled in here. There's also a healthy mix of artists that are not from New York, which I think is also important for some diversity. And when looking at these different artists that were selected for these 10 collaborations, one thing that stood out to me is that majority of them are actually good music artists. 
If you're not familiar with good music, that's of course Kanye West's label at the time, and he had artists like Big Sean, Kid Cudi, and the future label president, Pusha T. Now, in hindsight, I think it's pretty cool to look back at these, and although artists like Flatbush Zombies haven't necessarily grown so much over the last eight years, I think it's cool that a New York artist like them were able to get their shine. Personally, thinking in today's music and who's hype in New York, I would be afraid that most of these collaborations would probably feature some of those New York drill artists, which is not necessarily a bad thing. However, it's not necessarily up my alley if you get what I'm saying. Now, one of the cooler collaborations was this RSVP Gallery, which was a collaboration between Virgil Abloh and another legendary Chicago streetwear artist and designer known as Don C. And it's kind of ironic that the two of them would both play influential roles in Kanye's career and eventually even Travis's. And I also wanted to point out how Travis's bio here has him labeled as a rap artist and producer who was signed to Kanye's Good Music label with no other real credits. Like I mentioned, he was actually part of this legendary collaboration around April of 2015, months before Rodeo would actually release. And for those of you that are looking at these pieces and feeling a little bit underwhelmed or like there's not a whole lot of collaborative effort, I wanted to point out that the flaming head on the ape is actually a really cool nod to Travis Scott because it was during this era that his branding featured things that were on fire, such as his own little logo like this which is apparently known as the No Bystanders logo, so I just wanted to give you an idea how there was a connection for this actual collaboration. And if you're a fan like me and were curious how much something like this would cost you to get your hands on something authentic a whole eight years later, fear not. I decided to do a little bit of research and digging, and I actually found some listings on the website Grailed here. I wanted to give you an idea of how some of these pieces are holding up, and generally speaking, the quality of Bape has been pretty good. So seeing some of these pieces fluctuate between the two and $300 range definitely makes sense given that this is an eight year old piece and of course, depending on the quality of it. Now, although this was Travis Scott's first Bape collaboration, just a year later, he actually had his second, which debuted at the now infamous Hype Beast streetwear event, ComplexCon. Back then, it was something to attend and you never knew what kind of goodies you were going to get your hands on. And if you went in 2016, for example, you were lucky enough to get Travis Scott's second limited edition BAPE collaboration that was only printed for that event. Now, personally, I think it's so sick that Laflame was able to collab with BAPE given that he wasn't even a huge artist at the time and little did they know what kind of a rock star he would become. And you already know I had to include this old photo of Travis next to his mentor Kanye. I think it's honestly insane to see how much overlap there is between their careers and just how much of an influence Kanye had on Travis's. And even with as early as this video, you can see the influence that Kanye had on Travis. And I'm sure that him being signed to good music is part of the reason why he ended up with his own Babe collaboration before his own debut album. Now with that being said to wrap up this video, I'd love to know what your final thoughts are. I think it's so sick and crazy that Travis was able to get his own huge collaboration so early in his career, and it was a sign of the rock star that he was to later become. Although Bape is not as big as it used to be, shoot, if they reached out to me today, I'd definitely be down, so if y'all are watching Bape people, holla at your boy. Now all things considered, thank you so much for watching this video, and let me know what you guys would like to see me cover in the future. As always, guys, remember to stay safe out there. Thank you so much for cooking with the kitchen. And remember, it's lit. Straight up and peace. And don't forget to like and subscribe and join the new Discord.